And in the 89th minute, Dowie is brought down by Colin Hendry. No doubt about the penalty, but considerable doubt about the way it's taken. Instant stuff here from John Dreyer. Coton in the city goal feels the kick had been taken before he was ready, but the referee not impressed. 2 2 then at Kenilworth Road. Dixon. Against all the odds, did well there. Surrounded by three. But here, Luton continuing to make the running here in the second half. Gets it through to Ian Dowie. Brought down by Tony Adams and a penalty given. Well, John Dreyer normally takes the Luton penalties. Dowie going in there. Arsenal contesting the points. Tony Adams clashing with Ian Dowie. Down he went into the box. The referee having no hesitation in pointing to the spot. And a red card! The Arsenal captain sent off! That's a sensational de development now at Kenilworth Road. Could only be for dissent, for arguing with referee Philip Don. But it was Adams who conceded the penalty. And Arsenal now down to ten men. Tony Adams, consoled there by Perry Groves, goes off. What a sensational development. And now Arsenal back on their haunches because they can be pulled back to 1-1 as Dreyer lines up to take this penalty for Luton Town. Scores and it's 1-1. Twelve minutes from time, Luton reduced the deficit. It looks like Cherednik who pushes number seven, Elstra. Definitely worth a second look. What matters is that referee Ray Lewis is convinced. John Dreyer, who's upset keepers before with his unorthodox style, converts on the spot. It's not enough. Southampton hold on for all three points. Fullworth Road. On the plastic pitch, still problems for both Spurs and Luton. Neither side really impressing. Luton, though, coming closest to scoring. There's a penalty. Samway's tripping Mark Pembridge. And the Luton skipper, John Dreyer, has an excellent record from the spot this season. He hasn't missed one. He has now.